Is that okay, Nick? My mom was mad that she found my W-2 when I was a dancer back in the day when I danced. She said, you aren't working at the new dance bar, are you? And I was like, well, huh, yeah, I am. And, and, and my mom was kind of upset about it. But when my dad, he was like, he gave me the fist pump and he's like, you go girl. And I'm like, from like, you know, a dude that was in the military and stuff, like, I was like, but, but I'm going to tell you this. So my, my middle wait, name wait, Danielle. Wait, 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 hang on. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to tell hang you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's back yeah. up. <laughs> and, and just so you guys know, um, if, if we're having a, a discussion back and forth because I'm remoted in, mm -hmm. uh, when you're talking, oh. if, if we're talking at the same time, I actually can't hear you, right? So I can only hear it one way. Um, so, so if we can just talk one at a time, that'd be, that'd be great. So, but backing up, I just want to make sure your dad fist found your W-2 that you're working as a, as, as, I'm sorry, dude, and he fist bumped you? It wasn't the I was a dancer at the time, but he said, "You go, girl." What kind? Of, well, what kind of dancer? Uh, I was a nude dancer at okay, a deja but vu. I mean, the the delineation. I think I think that it's kind of semantics, right? So yeah, well, like you know, it, yeah, I mean, I, a lot of people, including myself, would consider um, to be. It was right? yeah, yeah yeah it was it was true. But he's like yeah he's like yeah, you yeah. go girl and I was like oh my god I was it felt kind of just it felt good to me because I felt like. At the time when I was a dancer, I tried to hide it. You know, I got a bunch of fake Red Bull shirts. So I would make fake Red Bull shirts and fake because to be like I was a promoter or something. And I'd put on these shirts and say I was going downtown. This is when I was like 22 years old. And and I would come back with the shirt on. Obviously, I wasn't using it the whole night. But um, finally, that's when my mom found out. But when my dad said that, I just I thought it was so funny. And <laughs> What'd your mom say? My mom was mad because she was an ex-cop and she didn't like she didn't she didn't like she's fine with the tantra i don't know if she's fine with anything else particularly as far as like the uh courtesan work goes she's fine with the tantra what's the tantra so i'm a tantra practitioner and i've been to many retreats um these are like holistic retreats where we learn mind body soul and soul uh in, you know connection and yeah, yeah. So uh, it's, like, it's like um it's like es esoteric essentially she's fine with that she's not really fine with like like stuff that's like even girlfriend experience she's kind of like borderline on that um but she's fine with the tantra but she's not fine with the others so it's really interesting i think it's because like i had to get trained in it and she's she wants me to get trained in something so she does my mother does say to me like you know i hope you that you know you're a smart girl i hope you get trained in something and i told her i was like you know i enjoy uh holistic i enjoy exploring with people i feel like i'm a safe person and i have been to many you know retreats and I've just been through a lot, so I, I know how people well, feel. What, what happens at these retreats? Um, at the retreats, so we really kind of got to dive into ourself. There's a lot of, if you Google, I'm trying to say, like, not a lot of them are, they're not filmed, but um, I, I went to the International School of Temple Arts, and um, a lot a lot of... Is this, like, is this like Teal Swan stuff? This is Teal Swan. I like Teal Swan, but, but you know, Teal, I, you is know, that, I got to... But I mean, is that it is Teal the Swan. same ballpark? It's like Teal Swan, uh, yes. esoteric sexuality. It is. Um, kind of diving into yourself and channeling spirits in order to do sex magic, that kind of thing. Kind of, but, but, but they'll rip you apart at these things. Like, you'll be in tears by, like, day three. They will just mm -hmm. shred you to pieces, and, 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 and it has to because you have to break and, like, crack open in order to be able to understand the depths of someone's emotions so you have to be like put through the paper shredder and and if you already a lot of these people were kind of grinded by life and then you get grinded by life even more when you go there because they ex they un they open oh, i'm so sorry they open up the wounds again and yeah i um, mean but it's basically cult brainwashing right you know there is that um okay so i actually have some some Okay, so that is why I don't believe in communes and living on communes is because uh, my mentor, she's passed away now, but her name was Salma Zadora, and she's a tantric sex guru. And um, she grew up... Yeah, she grew up on, on one of those, like, kind of, you know, the Jim Jones, that whole thing. And, mm -hmm. and I don't believe in... The problem with some spiritual communities that i have is is the like you said with the brainwashing it's so in spiritual communities you can't fight you can't like to say oh you're a jerk you're a bitch you can't say that so what they do is they start to oh your vision might not be good today oh oh my gosh you, you might not be hearing me correctly it, the gaslighting is big so you've got to be really in tune and when you call somebody out on that 
they will block you. Like I was actually blocked by a spiritual like person who I followed with over a million followers. And I was blocked by her because I called her out on it because they were questioned. They said, oh, I think you just need to listen to me again. Well, I mean, so, so why do you participate in these things? So there's, there's some things I believe in and then there's some things I don't. And that's why I don't, in, I don't completely live like on a commute. I don't live that life because even my spiritual teacher, um, Aaron Kleinerman, who, who was the, you know, he was a war vet and he went into the Tantra and became a Tantra practitioner. He didn't agree with some of that stuff too. There, there's certain great things about Tantra, but the community and how they interpret it there are those, there could be that weirdness that goes on in I is there Is there a lot of going on at these things? There, there is, um, as far as, not, not like sex, but it's like there is talk about sex. There's talk about like, you know, I guess how you open yourself up to, you know, the world, how you open yourself up to others. Um, it, it's everything has to be consensual. Um, for me, I didn't have at any of these um but i'm i've heard at other retreats not at the ones that i went to that there were sex that goes down and i didn't go to those but i have heard that okay so i'm very I selective with make, the teachers yeah yeah, yeah I, get, I get it i just mm -hmm. want to make sure that i'm i'm clear because i'm kind of coming into the conversation late so but you are um, right there are that yeah, does so exist. you're hiding yeah, well, i mean it's very it's very so culty Okay. Right, it's very, it's very culty. There's, um, there's no ifs, ands, or, bu or buts about it. Tons of, some, tons of people get damaged from these sorts of, uh, of retreats and speak out about it for years afterwards. Um, some can. There's, yes. uh, there's entire swaths of teal swans following who've broken off and talked about the horrors that go on inside of these kind of uh, base retreats. Mm -hmm. So my, I guess my, my overarching question is, and I, you know, think about it for a second before you answer. Do you think that maybe the reason you're interested in those and those cult-like retreats, the retreats, is because they're actually less judgmental than the population at large about your profession? I think that um, I've been devious, like with, I, I think this is something that isn't new to me. I've known this like my entirety of my life. 